Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing two build ideas with the new Hercules item set. As we get started today, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It really does help me out. So for our first build, we're going to create a building-like structure using multiple of the gazebos and then I'm going to do a garden in front of it. In both builds today, I will be using items from the premium shop and items that you can craft in your valley. Now both builds today will have some transitions because I kind of struggled on figuring out how I wanted the item layout to be but I hope that both of them bring you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration and of course comment in the comment section which one was your favorite build. Now both builds today are also going to be two large structures so obviously if you don't have room for this you can shrink the buildings down to whatever suits your valley the best. I really wanted both builds today to kind of capture the vibe that you see in the Hercules movie especially like the beginning scene where they're running to the marketplace and the garden scene with him and Meg. I just wanted to do a different approach with the gazebo because a lot of people are doing just a single gazebo build Which is not a bad thing But I wanted to try to see if I could create something a little bit more building like now I actually wanted to offer in today's video a single gazebo build that you could do with the new Hercules set too But I'm just like running really behind on my content creation lately I really wanted to do a romantic garden sort of like in the glade of trust Especially with all the glowy elements there. I just think that this could be so beautiful So I'll probably revisit this idea in a future live stream. Anyways, I hope that both builds today bring you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Let me know your favorite one in the comment section below and let's go ahead and continue to work in front of our first build idea. So far, I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of how I want the front of this first build to look. I'm gonna go just with a simple garden-like vibe with maybe some sitting areas on each side of it. I really loved using these archways to kind of give it a more elegant sort of look. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue to make some much needed adjustments around the area. Now, actually on the right side of this where I'm placing the plaza tree, I was running out of space. So if you're recreating this, do it in a much more spacious area or you can remove the trellis accent that I do add in front of these plaza trees. I just couldn't fit the other pieces on the right side on the trees closest to the wall. I just thought using the trellis added a really nice, you know, warm pop of color, but also some more floral elements in front of our little garden area. But this is obviously optional. You could go with maybe even using the white picket fence if you wanted to. I just wanted to disclaim that's why that one spot does not have any other trellis pieces. Next, I went ahead and filled in the grass with some beach grass that you can get from just unlocking Dazzle Beach and then we're gonna do a couple elegant sitting areas on each side of the gazebo. After all my final adjustments and extra details, here is how our first gazebo idea turned out. I kind of went for like a garden, little restaurant sort of vibe in front of the entrance, but I really love how this turned out. I think if you wanted to expand on the restaurant idea, placing Remy's shop over here could be such a great addition to this build and of course adding some more sitting areas. Now for the next build idea, we're going to go ahead and continue to expand on the large building structure idea with the gazebos. I'm going to continue a very similar layout to the first structure with the benches and the pillars that we get from the premium shop set with the gazebo, but this time we're going to surround them with some bushes and different types of greenery. I was also going to use the rocky terrain in 
this build, but I decided against it because I actually want to save this for my Glade of Trust build. Now for the second build, we're going to go with a large U shape with the gazebos instead. And this is going to be really inspired by that first scene in the Hercules movie when he's running into the shopping district. But instead of obviously turning it into a shopping area, we're going to do a large garden. The great thing about this second build, if you wanted some extra greenery, this build has a lot of it. But second, because of the U shape, you can do so many different things with this build. You could actually turn this into the restaurant if you wanted, or you could also use the shopping district idea and have a bunch of stalls and move Goofy over here too. Another thing I really wanted to suggest, since I don't have time to do a single gazebo build, if you are somebody who doesn't want a large structure, if you copy and pasted the front area with all the bushes and just did one gazebo and maybe some trees and fountains around it, I feel like this could be a really great little romantic gazebo spot that you could place in your valley too. So I did want to throw that idea in the second build. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue to detail this build and then we'll do some final shots on how the build looks completely finished. The last detail that I'm going to add to this build is framing in the little empty areas with the grass with some picket fencing. I do wish we had something more in theme with the Hercules set, but I thought that this matched the best and gave us such an elegant look to the build too. After all final details, here is how the finished build looks. I hope that both ideas brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Of course, before today's video also ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.